How to be a brilliantly successful care home provider. Um, here's what I've learned. Uh, I've got four things that I've learned. And how have I learned it? Well, um, uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Adam. I I, I, I found a Spring Up PR. We help care homes get more private pay revenue faster and inquiries faster to fill beds faster via PR and marketing, digital marketing techniques. Now, uh, I've been doing this for a number of years and uh, I've spoken to a lot of care homes, care home owners in particular. Um, I also run a Care CEO Success Stories podcast. Please go and ha have a look at it where um, I speak to the UK's um, leading care CEOs who've been there, got the t-shirt, etc. on how to run a successful care provider. And I'm going to share with you what I consider of what I've learned to be the four most important elements um yeah i don't run a care home i never have had uh but it's what i've learned and if as tomorrow if i was going to be an owner of a care home here are some of the things that i would have top of mind for for myself um uh, before i go on maybe we should understand what do we mean by a successful care home provider whether it's a single home or a group um well how would i classify it um would be um you're providing good care um and you uh, uh that's the most important element bar none good care um at least good in cqc ratings um consistently um and also that you are have a reasonable amount of, of profits, net profits to um, not only pay yourself, uh, but also to continue to uh, invest and grow uh, if you are so inclined to grow your care provider. Um, because uh, some elements of profit will be required for that. And if you are a good care provider, and you want to continue to uh, promote how you uh, promote your system's good care, then 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 growing. And I've spoken to a lot of people on the podcast who've grown huge, including Mike Parsons from Barchester, how they've grown um, to considerable size. So uh, with that, we've got that out of the way. How very, very briefly would I classify a successful care home provider? If you got any comments on this please add them in comments um i'd be really keen to know what you think uh if you're saying if you think i'm saying anything that's wrong that needs clarification just please please add in comments um but the first thing the first first thing i would say the leadership how you as an owner inspire motivate um and encourage your team to do well is absolutely vital. Those um, successful care provider owners I've spoken to usually um, will have be very, very clear on this, whether that be owners, CEOs, MDs, manage, uh, owner managers, very, very clear on that. And that's usually a very, very clear vision of what they are aspiring to achieve for their uh, care provider. Um, and once you once once a, care, a vision is in place, then everyone is going towards that uh, that path. Um, so having a clear vision um, and uh, and be very clear on what you how you your approach to care and the kind of values that you want to bring into uh, your care provider and what i mean by values and, and attitudes is whether you're kind courteous respectful whether you're looking to help whether you are a team player whether um you are want, uh, are keen to collaborate all those things those elements those ways of doing things come from the very, very top. Now, correct me if I'm right or wrong on this, but as in 2024, I find it very different on the idea that um, a care home provider can be successful other than having a very collaborative, open, respectful approach to a team. I don't think it took, again, correct me if I'm right or wrong, I came 
just as an aside, um, there are many, many successful businesses that are run on very authoritarian, uh, top-down methods, um, and uh, they can be very, very successful. I'm not sure whether that applies to the care sector, the care home business. If I'm wrong, you let me know. Um, but I, I, I suspect those are who people I've spoken to um, are not inclined to have that approach. But uh, that leadership is absolutely vital. Uh, and the nature of your leadership and being very, very clear and helping and guiding your team to make the right decisions and guiding them in the right direction on what where you as a care home is going um, is is absolutely vital. And what you expect to see, um, if you can make it very, very clear as, as an owner, a, a founder, um, whatever your leadership position is on what you are expecting to see, then other people in your team, uh, right from the managers down to regional directors or down to your care staff, can know and be uh, and have some some uh, north star, let's say, to follow. And uh, 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 I, I would say this leadership um, is is absolutely number number one. The second. Um, the second most important thing that I've learned is about the importance of hiring the right manager. That's the care home manager. If you get that right, then everything else will, will fall in place, at least have a high chance of falling in place. So let's say, so we've had the leader, the, the, the owner right at the very, very top. He or she or they will be hiring that manager. So that manager would be very much in, a, in accordance uh, with the leadership's uh, vision and values and ways of working. But making sure you hire the right manager is absolutely vital. Again, I've learned that from a number of people I've spoken to. A shout out, <coughs> excuse me, to Simon Harrison, who did a podcast episode, Care CEO Success Stories podcast episode on exactly that. Um, I've... I've spoken to care homes, a lot of care home managers, and I can quite quickly tell those who are better than others um, in terms of how they, their approach and how they work and how they talk to people and how they're collaborative they are. I can quickly um, uh, understand and see that. Uh, and nine times out of ten, um, someone with those leadership qualities that I'm talking about would have hired a good manager. Um, if they have less of those leadership qualities, those what I would consider good leadership qualities 2024 to run a care provider, then they are less likely to have a uh, to hire a good manager. Um, and, and that's when that knock on effect can, can come into place. But again, if you hire that right manager, then everything else uh, can can come into place because ideally the founder, correct me if I'm right or wrong on this, the founder, the owner, um, should be in a position where they have a manager who um, is managing the home, giving the owner, the founder, room to do perhaps some of that other thinking, that strategic thinking, that kind of bigger picture thinking, which empowers the care home manager to then do... Um, his or her rate work, um, um, and uh, you know, the care home manager will be responsible for so much of the care home, uh, the culture in particular, the culture of that of that care home, how it's run, will be down to literally the personality of the, that care home manager. Nine times out of ten, if I'm right or wrong, you let me know. Um, so that is absolutely vital. Um, the third element um, is your team is everything, absolutely everything. Um, so uh, I myself, I run an agency and I know that my team is absolutely everything and I will do everything in my power to help my team do well. Um, and uh, if my team are happy, uh, then my clients will be happy. Um, and that goes, I believe, correct me if I'm right or wrong, um, exactly the same for running a care business, a care home.
Um, so that's everyone down from your uh, kitchen assistants down to your, to, your, to your care workers, to your deputies, to your managers. Um, they are everything. Um, and if you can inspire and guide them to do as best as job that they can possibly do, um, then uh, treat them as the your absolute um, treasure trove of, of 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 an asset for you as a as a care provider because they are going to help make you be a successful care provider or not. Your manager and then your team and they are absolutely everything um and that means rewarding them and not always in pay pay of course we know how important that is but in reward, rewarding in terms of of recognition of praise of helping them helping achieve what they want to achieve um and generally um you know my approach is very much one of positive reinforcement and positive reinforcement of the values that you have as an organization we talked about i talked about that straight at the very from the very top so i would say this is very very important especially for care businesses um uh and i think one thing i did actually want to talk about on the the team i would say again correct me if i'm right or wrong but those care providers that i've spoken to who've seem to do most well are those who allow and enable a considerable degree of delegation that is they means they trust their staff they trust their team trust is absolutely vital because with trust your team can open up to you um, they can talk about something that's on their mind if something's not right they can talk to you about it um, and trust works both ways. You have to trust them and they have to trust you. Um, and mistakes are okay. We always make mistakes. And uh, I think this is something very, very important is that uh, I think what I've seen from those top providers, um, whereas, of course, some mistakes are unforgivable, uh, the smaller mistakes that human beings make um, as long as people learn from them, um, then that's absolutely key. Uh, 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 again, my team is a small team, but if people make a mistake, I encourage them to share with the rest of the team so we can all learn from mistakes because mistakes do happen. And as long as we can learn from them, then they are less important. They're less likely to happen again. Now, I know this may sound like a bit of a cliche, but it's absolutely right. Some cliches are absolutely right. And that one, I think, is absolutely right. Um, so then that comes to my uh, fourth fourth element, which uh, I think is very important, is learning. Um, and that's the people, are, the founders, um, owners are always learning. Um, that's learning how to... Uh, on everything from um, digital transformation to new um, to AI, whether that's useful or not, uh, to new approaches to care, um, to obviously the CQC being completely uh, up to date with everything that they are talking about, any any efficiencies you can bring into your operations um, and approaches to care, the kind of activities and stimulations and events that care homes can provide. Um, being uh, being part of a group where owners might talk, be talking to each other and learning from each other, not doing, not running your care uh, provider in a silo, but reaching out to others and learning from other people who are doing well. Um, <clears throat> That's one of the aims I have for the Care CEO Success Stories podcast is where other care successful where, where successful care home owners can inspire others um, to, uh, to give tips and information um, for them to learn from. So, um, uh, and let me just give you an example is recruitment. Uh, we talked about how important uh, the care teams are um, for you uh, as a care home provider and uh, being 
thinking about how to change approaches to recruitment during, let's say, the period of the so-called recruitment crisis, when it was difficult, as was difficult and still is, perhaps, to hire staff, uh, good care staff, about how you change your approach to recruitment, about hiring perhaps more on attitudes and approach and personality rather than uh, ticks on a, on a CV. That kind of um, ability to adapt, which comes from a degree of learning, which is about learning about what's working uh, right here, right now, um, and learning, and it's something I've learned as well, um, from listening to top recruiters, how they shifted or recruiting, recruiting particularly for people who just have the right willingness, personality, uh, and inclination to show that they could be a good carer, irrespective of whether they had experience or not. So that's something, um, that learning element is something I, I feel that is something I've picked up from successful care home providers so there we go those are my four um let me know if i'm right or wrong what you think if uh, i can provide clarity or you can provide some clarity on all of those um and please subscribe to this channel um share tell your colleagues that all these videos about helping uh, care providers improve um and uh, share insights and intelligence uh, of course uh, most of my videos are about inquiry generation for care homes so um, make sure you go and check out those videos